Hey, what's going on everybody? Tony buys a huge chair for $120. He then fixes it and resells it for $144. By what percent did Tony increase the original price of the chair? So go ahead, give this problem a shot, pause the video, and then press play when you're ready. So here we go. The answer here, it's, it's gonna be B. The answer is B and here's why. So what we wanna understand is that first and foremost with every problem, we gotta point out what that question is and what the keywords are. So the question states, by what percent did Tony increase the original price of the chair? All right, so keyword there, I mean, pretty clearly it's percent, right? But the question is, well, what do we do with that, right? Like it, it says percent, we know the question, we wanna know how much he increased it. So the way that we do it is by setting up a proportion. We can honestly set this up a few different ways, but the way that I found is the easiest is by using a proportion. And here's what I mean. Percents, they are proportions. So write that down if you didn't know that. But percents are proportions. Because what you can say is that, look, if we wanna know by how much he increased the price in terms of a percent, well then you're gonna set up a proportion and really, pretty much what you're going to say is, okay, the percent that I'm looking for, I'm going to say that that is P percent. And remember, everybody, percents, what are they always out of? What's the original percent or the entire percent of anything? 100, right? So we can say 100% here in the denominator, and we can say that P percent out of 100%. Because remember, and I'll use black here, 100% represents the original percent, and then P percent represents that percent increase. And so here's the cool thing about proportions. Honestly, as long as you set it up the same way on both sides, you're good, you're fine. And here's what I mean. So if we're comparing percents here to the actual price over here, we just have to make sure that it matches up in the description. So the original, that's a little easier to do because the original is $120. That's what he bought it for. And then what was the increase? The increase is not 144. The increase is the difference between how much he sold it for and how much he paid for it. So we'll subtract those. And with some mental math here, 144 minus 120, that is gonna be 24. If that you know, really rubbed you the wrong way in terms of, hey, I don't really know my mental math, totally fine. Make sure you practice that thing because remember on the ASVAB, we don't get calculators. So you gotta put yourself in the best position to succeed by knowing your mental math. That's a great piece of advice right there. You probably should get one, all right? So 24 is what we have here because again, 120, that's the original that he paid. Look at that, it matches up. And then the 24 represents the increase. And so that's all it is. On one side, we have the dollar amount. The other side, we have percents. Because what that's gonna allow us to do is just cross multiply and divide and we're all good we're done so here's the here's the deal here we can go ahead and simplify first so hopefully we've gotten this all down so i'm going to erase the labels here because what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and apply our math and solve remember that we can always cross multiply and divide with proportions and i really always recommend that but not until you simplify first because the thing is over here with 24 and 120 we can simplify that 24 and 120 yeah, you can say they're both divisible by two or both divisible by three or four. Yeah, you're right about all that and six too, but the greatest common factor that they have is 12. And so we can divide both of these by 12. And what we're gonna have is, well, 12, divi or 12 divided into 24, that's gonna go ahead and be two. And then 120 divided by 12, well, that would be 10. And so you're going to notice that we can actually simplify further. But I'm going to play off with the fact that everybody knows that 12 can go into 24 and 120. Not everybody knew that 24 could go into 120. It is 5. But never mind that. Because 2 and 10, they can simplify again. Both 2 and 10 are divisible by 2. And if we did that, we would end up getting 1 over 5. So essentially what I'm saying after all that talk there is we can erase all this stuff here and make it really easy for ourselves and just make that one fifth. Because you know how crazy it can get when you cross multiply and divide, right? So don't put yourself in that position. Just go ahead, hey, look, simplify first, you're fine. Because now, all we have to do when we cross multiply, we're gonna end up having 5p equals 100. 
and then divide both sides by 5 to get our answer. And that'll be P equals 20. And remember, we said that P is a percent, so 20%. So the price went up by 20%, and there it is. And we're all done. So with that said, everybody, if you're not in our Facebook group already, make sure to check out that Facebook group. It's ASVAB Help Group, Raise Your Score, and that's where you can find plenty more problems like this posted in terms of the questions, the videos, and all of my free group tutoring sessions coming up. So go ahead, check it out, and I'll see you there. Let's get cracking.